Tabii ki tabii. Hola, 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 hola. Welcome to everyone. It is a pleasure to see you again. Hola. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, welcome. We are uh, today starting the last week of this module. This is uh, week four. So uh, this is the last one. For the reason I invite you to participate and ask question if you don't understand something. So in that way you are going to clarify your doubts. Is something if you don't understand something, uh, if you can ask me in Spanish too, I can give you the answer, and in that way you are going to build your own knowledge. Si me están oyendo, estoy probando mi micrófono. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Yes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. I mean, inspired because this is the last week that we are going to be together sharing uh, information about the language. So I need that all of you participate in the, in the activity that we are going to develop and that way you are going to polish your language. Welcome, Gabby is there. Hello, Gabby. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Really happy every day. You you look really happy every day. That is really I am happy, teacher. That is really, really good. To keep that feeling every time. I am hungry. Excuse me? I am I am very hungry. 
<laughs> me too. Me too. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> ah, everything too. My stomach, my stomach is doing work. <laughs> ah, okay. When? I'm sorry to hear that. In my case, very traffic because um, there are a uh, concert ah, uh, near near to my home. Because the concert is the reason yeah. why you got caught in traffic, right? It's a, a lot of traffic. Ah, okay. Well, we are going to wake a little bit uh, for the rest of the class. We are going to start. I'm ready. We start, but just tell me how do you feel today? You feel nervous, you feel happy, you feel excited. I don't know how do, how do you feel. Or maybe you are worried because the shaking that you feel. No, take it easy, teacher. Okay, okay. Yes. Only, only word for a for a sister. She is very, um, is very, miedosa. Very, very nervous. Very nervous. Is scary. Okay, it's scared. It's scared. Yes. But my daughters no, 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 no nervous. Oh, okay. What about you, Gabi? I am very hungry, teacher, and <laughs> and happy. Okay. Very happy. Yes. Yes. And my daughter, my daughter is watching TV. Watching TV. Okay. Nice. Yes. Okay. We are ready to start. Later on, you are going to have time to eat an apple or a, a pear or something like that. That is going to help you and it's going to give you energy that in order that you can continue with us right here. I know it's, uh, it's really difficult sometimes because uh, we have to do a lot of things, but if we want to succeed in something, we need to do our best effort in order to reach it. Generalmente, para poder lograr alguna meta, hay que sacrificar algo, ¿sí? Eso es así. Y a veces también toca el estomaguito, ¿sí? sacrificarlo un momentito, pero ahí en un descuidito tomamos una frutita o algo y nos da energía para seguir adelante, ¿no? Para que no caiga. Turn off the camera, teacher. Turn off the camera. <laughs> ah, el viejo, ese es el old trick. Es el viejo truco que tiene. Mm. Mire, mire, está. Yes, yes. Can you make idea, teacher? Turn off and okay. eat, eat. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, as I told you before, today we are going to start the uh, week number four. This is going to be the last one. So I invite you to participate in all the activities that we are going to develop and ask questions if you have any doubt because this is the last week that we are going to be together for the next model. Uh, you are going to have uh, another facilitator and then you are going to have a new opportunity to learn from he or from her because everyone, um, have uh, his or her own way to teach. And uh, even the way that we speak to sometimes uh, you say, uh, well, I can understand exactly what he is saying. Or maybe somebody said, I can't get anything about what she or he is saying. But all depends. But you, what you need to do is just to share your ear. Hay que, hay que educar el oído para poder entender diferentes personas cuando están hablando eh, el idioma. Y eso es bueno, tener una variedad de, de acentos, porque cada uno tiene eh, 
su forma peculiar de, de, de poder eh, hablar. Algunos lo hablan más lento, otros más rápido. Eh, bueno, it is, this ain't happening in Spanish, you know. Okay, I'm ready, but let me see how many people do we have. I got 12, okay. Let me show you what we are going to study today. Well, in fact, this is class number 16. And uh, today, what we are going to do is just that we are going to report a problem. Well, after the after the shake uh, that we have, the movement, uh, maybe some uh, places got problems and they need to call for help. They need to uh, report the problem. Maybe to the electrical company or maybe another issue, you know? And we need to learn how, how we are going to deal with this situation. Así es que el día de hoy vamos a hablar un poco de cómo reportar algún problema que no esté sucediendo. We need to learn uh, the vocabulary in order to go directly to the point and call the attention to the person that is going to attend your call. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see the time that we have now. Okay. Well, let me show you what I tell you. I need to get bigger at this. Okay, uh, as you can see here, this is section number 16. Um, today is in, uh, 18, 2023. And the topic for today is ways to report a problem. This is the main topic, Way, ways to report a problem. What comes to your mind when I say ways to report a problem? ¿Qué viene a sus mentes cuando yo menciono ways to report a problem? Tell me. Tell me. By the way, um, la semana 3 terminó prácticamente el día de ayer. Debo de reactualizar las notas. Significa que ya la mayoría terminó de hacer la semana 3, espero sí. Para que todos finalicen eh, de la mejor manera. Estoy viendo todavía tenemos espacio en blanco. Y algunos también tienen ya problemas de asistencia. Ok. Well, as I told you, um, we are going to start with uh, this question. We have two questions. Do you ever, uh, do you ever call uh, tech support? When do you do it? We have two questions. Do you ever call tech support? And when do you do it? Tech support means technical support. You know, this is a short way how we can write it. In my case, for example, um, when I have problem with my internet service, I need to call the company 
uh, in order that they can uh, give me a solution. So uh, I need to have the, the right vocabulary in order that they can understand exactly what the problem that I am having at the moment that I report. So it's very important that we can uh, have by hand the numbers that when we need. For example, if the power go off, uh, you need to know exactly the number where you are going to call for help and you are going to report it. And the same happened with, uh, with, with internet service, you know. I need to have exactly in my in my cell phone the number in order to send a message to the company and and I need to tell them that uh, I'm having problems and that I have to work for the reason they need to uh, to look for a better uh, solution to my problem. But in this case, I got questions. The first one said, "Do you ever call page support, and when do you do it?" If you don't uh, got the meaning in Spanish, just let me know. I would like to help you. Tell me. Teacher, maybe when I don't have connection, I need to, to speak with you about this. You need to call. I need to call you. You need to call. I need to call to my teacher. Yes, you need to call. Okay. Or maybe you need you need to send them a, a voice message. All depend on the situation. Okay. And other when my when my daughter is sick. I have to to call to my boss. Oh, okay, and you are you you, and you ask for permission in order to yes. to take her to 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 see the doctor, right? Yes. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, thank you. Somebody, I want to. Hear teacher, the... in my case, teacher. Teacher. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Go sorry. ahead. Go ahead. Adelante, adelante. Se me quedaron mudos los dos. You first, Jonathan. <laughs> okay, thank you. And uh, report a problem with my my computer teacher, a virus, or and don't access to Wi-Fi or internet. Okay. What else? Somebody else want to add? In, in my case, teacher, in my job, I, I, my work is in a bank. Oh. When, when the informatic system is full, I call to informatic uh, technology department and report uh, the fault. Okay. You... The informatic system. Yeah, you report the problem. Okay. Yes. Okay, excellent. Let me see. Somebody else want to say something? Hello, what about the rest of the class? Hola, hola. Donde están los demás? Hi teacher, in my case, only when the internet files me. Tell me. Uh, in my case, only when the internet files. Only when the internet fails. 
Okay. Okay, excellent. So, Mario, in mass. Okay, let me uh, check out the attendance and later on we can continue talking about this. So please say hello at the moment that you hear your name. America Elizabeth Cruz. Present teacher, good evening. Okay, good evening. Uh, Ana Iris. Blanca Esperanza. Blanca Esperanza. Cecilia Maribel. Good evening, teacher present. Good evening. Eh, Edwin Alexis. Radio oyente. Ok. Edwin Alfredo. Present, teacher. Ok, sir. Francisco Pereira. Francisco. It's not here. Eh, Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Eh, Gisela Guadalupe. No. Ingrid Geraldina. Ingrid Geraldina. Jonathan Stanley. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Jose Ernesto Alemán. Don Jose Ernesto Alemán. Don Jose Luis Beltrán. Karina Vanessa Amaya. Present teacher. Okay, Catherine Maricela. Catherine Paola. Present teacher. <coughs> okay. Candy Natalie. Present teacher. Teacher, solo una cosa. Ya lo puedo decir en inglés. <ríe> Ayer ya no le pude contestar al final de la clase eh, cuando pasó lista. Ya no me, o sea, ya no me agarró el, el teléfono. Se me trabó todo y ya no pude ingresar. O sea, la verdad es que ya no pude decir present. No sé si me puso asistencia. Sí, tiene asistencia. Ok, thank you. Ahí okay. disculpe que no le pude contestar. Pero cuando reaccionó el cel ya no... Ya, ya no pude, ya se había terminado la sesión. Sí, generalmente el sistema nuestro mide los minutos que cada uno de ustedes está conectado. Entonces, el reporte que llevamos es justamente así. Algunos se conectan que, digamos que 70, 80. Y para tener una buena asistencia, un buen récord, tiene que ser los 120 mil. Claro, a veces hay uh, algunos problemas de, de conexión, de lluvia. Pero eh, vamos buscando que, que sean 120 minutos. Ok. Uh, Mauricio. Thank you. Pero en el caso suyo, uh, Candy. En el caso suyo, el día de ayer, estamos bien, no hay problema. Ok, teacher, thank you. Ok, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Good evening, teacher, present. Ok, good evening, welcome. Uh, Roxana. Hello. Eh, Roxana Elizabeth. Roxana Elizabeth. Sara. Present. 
Okay, Sara. Eh, Janet. Present teacher. Okay, Janet is there. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. Well, I guess Jessica is not here. Wow, we have a uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people. Ten. Wow, a lot of people. Wow. Bueno, es, es bastante. Yo sé que los compromisos son bastante serios. Eh, pero eh, también es necesario buscar la manera de, 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 de conectarse para llevar el buen récord, porque esa es otra parte que se evalúa al momento de... Char, disculpe, no sé si escuchó que le dije presente. Sí, sí, claro. Ah, es que se me está yendo la señal, por eso le decía. Sí, no hay problema, ya la tengo aquí. Gracias. Gracias. Ok. La que no me apareció fue eh, Roxana Elizabeth. Ella sí no. Cuando se agreguen, eh, si de repente les sucede, y si ya se ha pasado lista, ahí pueden escribirme al chat al, del, del Zoom para mantenerme ahí pendiente, aunque siempre se pasa la última vez al final. Ok. Uh, going back again to the question, uh, do you ever call tech support? When do you do it? Some of you already uh, uh, gave me the answers, but uh, some miss doing this. Algunos ya me dieron su respuesta, pero algo otros también hacen falta. Por lo tanto, I need that all of you participate. Okay, somebody else want, wants to give me the answer about the these two questions. Teacher, I have other examples. Excuse me? Gabby? I have other examples. Oh, you got another example. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, lady. Yeah. When my brother's car is doesn't work, he calls his me me mechanic 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 and me mechanic he calls his mechanic okay when the car uh it doesn't work okay okay excellent somebody else can mass vamos you can do it. Teacher. Go ahead. Teacher, me escucha. Yes, Rox. Do it. Do it now, please. Right. When the the power got out, lose three the power, teacher. Okay. Y la siguiente cuenta de internet cut out. Ok. Teacher, I call the techniques when my internet box door. When you're... When my internet box bore. Uh, when your internet, it doesn't work. Okay. What about Ana Iris? Um, Cecilia. Karina. Sara. Paola. Bueno, ya Gaby habló. Ahí está Janet. Ahorita está Bici. 
ya, ya participó también al inicio, eso es cierto. Ok. Ana Iris, chavas. Dinos, dinos. Um, eh, la cuestión, Chisha. Eh, do you do you ever call this support? When do you do hit? He is going do hit and um go out there. Um, cuando no hay agua. Okay, when when we you don't have water. Do you have a, a specific number where you can call in order that they can give you a support? Debe tener un número donde llamar para que le, le den eh, apoyo rápido, ¿cierto? Pero maybe sometime uh, you call and after a weekday answer. I don't know if you got my message. Usted llama y después de una semana le dan la respuesta. O ya no es así. Just tell me. Hola. Okay, let us continue then. Um, okay, hold on a second. Okay, we are going to continue with this conversation. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a pattern. The conversation is between Peter and Bravo. Uh, good morning, this is Peter from Texaball. How can I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robo? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Okay, this is a model how you can report a problem. So try to read it and later on we are going to repeat and then you are going to practice with uh, someone else. You have two minutes to read it. Ok, acá tienen un ejemplo de cómo pedir ayuda a, al equipo técnico para que nos ayuden a solucionar algo. Human Resources. Human Resources Department. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Una J aquí. Human. Human. Human Resources Department. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? No question? No, teacher. Okay, I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Dice, good morning. Okay. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Listen, how can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. 
I see. Let me ask you some questions. And they start talking about that. Okay. Okay. If you don't have any problem uh, with anywhere right here, what you can do is just to take on a screenshot because you are going to use it with somebody else in the breakout room. Si no tiene ningún problema de pronunciar alguna palabra, entonces haga una captura porque la va a usar con su compañero o compañera, por favor. Okay. Okay, to, okay, teacher. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Let me see how many. Well, we have only a few people here. Okay, it's going to be this way. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, uh, so I need that all of you accept my invitation as, um, as I send the to you, please. Solo les pido que me acepten la invitación tan pronto les llegue, por favor. Giselle is alone. Bueno, Giselle, ya le vamos a ubicar. Good night, teacher. Good, good evening, teacher. Okay, hold on a second, please. Por ahí estoy buscando a alguien que está de oyente y que no puede estar quizá con el trabajo. Uh -huh. Y resulta que el oyente, un oyente está conectado y el otro no está conectado. Bueno, vamos a enviarle a él. Ok, go to break up room number eight, please.
No se escucha nada, teacher. Creo que está silenciado su micrófono. My microphone, my microphone is not working. Report, report. Hola, hola, hola. Hello, hello, hello. Report your, micro, your, your microphone. Another, a little earthquake again. You need a new, a new microphone, teacher. No, sigue el temblor, gente. En este momento sigue temblando. Yes. Be careful. Don't worry. Don't worry. Calm down. I don't feel, I don't feel nothing, teacher. Oh, yes, right now. Sí, y sigue moviéndose la tierra. Yes. Muy lenta, pero sigue moviéndose. Okay, relax. Ya, todo está tranquilo. So, let us continue. Todos estamos muy bien. What about you? I am out of my house, teacher. <laughs> you are out of your house, okay. My goodness. I'm fine, teacher, I'm fine. I'm fine. I Okay, um, well, it's necessary that you stay in a place where you can keep safe. Es necesario que se estén ubicados en un lugar donde sepan que no hay nada arriba que les pueda ocasionar ningún daño, ¿cierto? Y por lo demás, pues, tratar de mantener la calma. Siempre los nervios tienden a, a alterarse, pero... Eh, lo más eh, correcto es quedarnos quietos en un lugar seguro, desde luego. Bueno, ya Gaby ya regresó. Okay, let us continue with that conversation. Who wants to who, who wants to do it? I need volunteer who wants to start. Voluntario que quiera hacer la conversación? Hey teacher. Okay. With Karina Maya. Okay, go ahead. She start. Hello, Karina. Maybe for the sismo. I believe that she is out. She's out, 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 out the house, maybe. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, we can wait a little bit. Uh, somebody else wants to do it. 
¿Alguien más lo quiere hacer en lo que ella llega? Sí, general, generalmente algunas personas se, se ausentan en estos casos porque tienen familiares, niños pequeños, adultos mayores. And we need to understand that situation. So. I can't, teacher. Okay, go ahead, uh, Jonathan. Okay. I, Peter, and you, Robert? Hello. Who is your partner, sir? Janet Campos. Janet, are you there, Janet? Uh, I Peter, I Peter, and you, Robert. Okay, Peter. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report problems to my computer. What is it, Robert? This is the C word. I see. Let me ask you some question. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Teacher, I'm here. Okay, Karina. And my partner is Edwin. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Karina, okay. you start. Yes. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is the What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you ask you some question. Okay. Thank you. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, it's pretty easy, you know? Okay, somebody else? Me teacher, my partner is Paola. Okay. Paola, ¿está por ahí? Yes. Okay. ¿Cuál, cuál desea hacer, compañero? Ah, y si quiere. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from the test support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you now you some questions. Thank you, Paola. Okay, in that part, it's better if you say, let me ask you, let me ask you some questions. Repeat. Let me ask you, let me ask you let questions. Me, let me ask you some questions. Let me ask you some questions. Sí, ahí no me haga una separación. Utilicemos la K última, as. Y ahí unimos la I y la U. Ask you. Let me ask you some questions. Ask you. Como una sola. Ask you. Como si fuese una okay, sola. Ok, teacher. Y en, la, y en la pregunta del how can I help you, ¿cómo sería? Sería how can I help you. How can I help you. How can ahí, I help you. Ahí igual. Eh, tenemos una consonante fuerte, una vocal suave. Help you. 
help you? Como una ayuda. Ok, how can I help you? Así okay. se oye mejor. Sí, thank you, teacher. Ok, welcome. Somebody else. ¿Quién sigue? Se nos desconectó Gaby, se nos desconectó Gaby. Ahorita ya está desde... Candy. Hello, teacher. Apartment is Edwin. Okay. He is waiting for you. Edwin, are you there? Edwin. Yo soy el compañero. Ah, Mauricio. Sí. Ah, okay. Oh, sorry. Ella me dijo Edwin. She told me. Sorry, sorry. Okay, go ahead. You, Peter. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Teach Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. It like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. Continue, please. <laughs> Sorry, estaba hablando sin el, <laughs> sin el micrófono. <laughs> I see. Let, let me ask you some questions. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read again. Uh, listen carefully, please. Peter Stein said, good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, it's very if you're saying that way. Any questions so far from here? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No? No question, teacher. No questions. Bueno, ya Gaby apareció otra vez. Dice que la vieron allá en la esquina. <risa> Fue el miedo, teacher. El miedo por el temblor. Y en realidad acabo de temblar otra vez. No lo sintieron. I'm very nervous. Do you feel it or not? Nah. The second no. one? No, I don't feel. No, no sintieron el segundo temblor. No. My goodness. Entonces solo fue en, en mi área. Teacher, can I start with my partner? Okay, go ahead. Do it now, please. Ana Iris. Ana Iris is there. Hi. <clears throat> Good morning. This is Peter for Teach Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resort Department. Department. I like to report a, a, a problem, problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? 
He doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, thank you. Let me ask you some questions. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. Next, somebody else. Alguien más? O se me durmieron o se fueron. Ya no ha temblado. Hola, hola, hola. Hello. Ah, oh, Ingrid is there. Ingrid is there. Welcome, Ingrid. Yo okay. puedo participar, pero no sé quién fue mi pareja y no me había podido conectar. Ok, alguien que no tuvo pareja y que quiera trabajar con ella, somebody. Somebody wants to help her, please. Me, teacher. Ok. Yeah. America is there too. Ok, go ahead. Uh, to Peter, America. Ok. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can we help you? Hey Peter, this is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. It like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask, ask you some questions. Okay, uh, now you can switch the, the roles. Ahora pueden, pueden rotar los roles. Siempre la misma pareja. Yes, you can do it with her. Good morning. This is Peter from Ted Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with me computing. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. See, let me ask you some questions. Okay, thank you. Okay, anybody else? No? Okay, let us continue then. Me teacher, but I don't have partner. Ah, Giselle, okay, who wants to help? Who wants to help her? Um, alguien, alguien que le ayude, por favor. I want. Okay, Gaby. Perfect. Gaby, you, you Peter or Robert? I want to be Robert. Okay. Um, um, um you ready? Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Ted Sport. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report the problem with my computer. What it is? What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. 
I see. Let me ask you someone questions. Eh, lo quiere, quiere leer el otro, cambiamos. Sí. Switch yes, the row. Switch the row, please. Change the row. Uh -huh. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Tissue Park. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with no, com my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you, let me ask you some questions. Okay, thank you, Gabby. <laughs> Okay. Nice. I like that. Good job. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let me see somebody else is missing or we can go to the next activity. Bueno, veamos quién más desea participar. De lo contrario, vamos a la siguiente actividad. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let us continue. Okay, number three is a paper, get in pairs and discuss. Number one, what is the issue with Robert computer? And second, how does the report, how does he report the problem? So, uh, take a screenshot, haga una captura porque va a necesitarla para eh, discutir con alguien más. Y luego la pueden compartir en el, en el grupo. As soon as you have it, you can share it in the WhatsApp group. So, I need to somebody do it, please. Okay, you, you have it? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. My camera is off. Okay. Let me rearrange with somebody else. El, el problema que estoy teniendo eh, cuando creo breakout room es que algunos no me aceptan las invitaciones. Es eh, decir, están conectados, pero no están frente a su ordenador, quizás. Por eso no, no es bueno que estén con las cámaras apagadas. Ese era un requisito que se explicó desde el inicio. But it's up to you. But I recommend to turn it on. Okay, I'm going to recreate. And I'm going to give you yes. Four minutes to talk about this, and then you are going to share the information. Okay, here we go.
Okay, uh, who wants to share what you talk about? ¿Alguien quiere compartir lo que habló con su compañera o compañero? Of course, related with the, the, the two questions. Hey, teacher. Okay. Tell me. What did okay, you... in the in the first in the first uh, question, what is the issue with Robert's computer? Uh, he doesn't seem to work in computer. Okay. And the question number two. Question number two: How does he report the problem? Uh -huh. He calling from the human resource department. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else have a, a different answer. Alguien más tiene una respuesta diferente? Or not? No? Okay, let us move forward. Okay, hold on a second. Let me check. Okay. Okay, activity number four, check which problems are the most common reason to call tech support. That is the first uh, thing that you need to do. And the second one, as soon as you finish, you are going to talk to two colleagues and compare your tables. Okay, in the primera literal A, Cheque cuáles problemas son los más comunes o las razones más comunes para llamar a, a, a soporte técnico. And we have new software, new internet access, no internet access, a virus, deleted file, paper stuck in printer, USB per app or folder, funny noise in the CPU or flattened screen. Veamos. Todo se comprende, ¿cierto? Or not? Tell me. No, teacher. I don't understand funny nows in the C in the CPU. Ah, okay. It's a, I don't understand. A funny noise. A funny noise in the CPU. Eso significa como que es, eh, oyes eh, un ruido como divertido dentro del CPU. Oh, un ruido. Uh, okay, de, teacher. Okay. Un ruido fuera de serie. Okay, teacher. Thank a you. Eso, a eso le llamamos funny noise in the CPU. Okay, somebody else. Okay. No internet access, teacher. No internet access. No internet access. Access, no internet access. Okay. By the way, could, could, would you like to read all this problem that we have here? Maybe new software. Okay. Next. Paper stuck in printer, teacher. Okay, next. A in virus my... teacher? Yes, continue. Uh, A virus my... teacher? Hold on, hold on. One by one. One by one, please. A virus teacher? A virus, okay. In my case, teacher, uh, frozen screen is very common. Common. It's very common. Yes. And, and what the, what is the reason? Uh, what the tech support says about that? Maybe operative system. Oh, could be. Another issue could be the, the memory, maybe. The processor. Yes, Me memory. memory. Memory too. The run. Oh, okay, somebody else?
Okay, somebody else wants to say something. Okay, uh, I'm going to shoot someone. Okay, Cecilia, would you like to read all this uh, problem, please? Cecilia, me podría leer todos estos eh, posibles problemas? New software, no internet access, a virus, delete files, paper stock in printer, USB ports of, of, of order, funny noise in the CPU, frozen screen. Okay, okay, I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. I need that all of you pay attention, please. New software, no internet access, a virus, deleted files, listen. Deleted files, paper stuck in printer, USB ports out of order. Okay, take a look at this word. USB ports out of order. Funny noise in the CPU and frozen screen. Okay, quien más me lo lee, por favor? Hola, hola. Me, teacher. Okay, do it. <clears throat> New software, no internet access, a, a virus, the deleted files. Deleted, deleted files. Deleted, deleted files. Paper, <laughs> paper is too. <laughs> Paper is stuck at a, a printer, in USB port. Paper is stuck in printer. Paper is stuck in printer. 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 Yes. USB. USB ports out, out, of, order. Of, out of order. 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 Oh. Funny noise in the CPU. The CPU. CP, CPU. Yes, CPU. The frozen screen. Screen. Okay. Choose someone who want, uh, that you wants to hear reading. Elija alguien. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead, sir. Okay, new software. No internet access. A virus. Deleted, deleted files. Paper stuck in printer. USB ports out of order. Funny noise in the CPU, frozen screen. Okay. Okay. Uh, say a name of somebody who wants to read it.
Okay, uh, let us continue with letter B. Talk to two colleagues and compare your tables about this, you know? Check with problems are the most common reason to call tech support. Okay, I need that you compare with somebody else. Well, what we are going to do is going to be quite easy. Um, every one of you is going to tell me uh, which one you shows. Cada uno me menciona cuáles eligió que considera que son los mayores and why. Okay, let us start with Ingrid. Tell, tell me, Ingrid. I think so. No software? Or a virus? Or a virus. And, and maybe the question is how you can ask for help. If you have a problem, for example, in your computer about a virus, I don't know if your your if your company have a technical support in order to in order that that you receive a hands to resolve the problem. Okay, ahora la cuestión sería cómo hago para pedir ayuda. But in English, that is the main point that we need to do in English. Okay, think, think, think. Piensa, piensa, piensa. For example, if you uh, if you can find some files, and then you remember that you deleted, what can you do? If you need that information again, tell me. Hmm. ¿Qué pasaría si de repente Eh, suprime algunos archivos y cuando menos acuerde le, se los piden y usted no encuentra cómo hacerlo cómo, cómo haría teacher Hello. nos está preguntando cómo diríamos nosotros how, how, que necesitamos ayuda con la computadora yeah, sería you... teacher I like to report a problem with my computer. Okay, could be in that way, but maybe uh, somebody will have another way how to deal with this issue. le dirían al tech support para que él comprenda rápido? Teacher. Hello. I need to recover my files. Okay, could be. Could be okay. Can you help me? Come on, tell me, tell me. Um, you you can help my computer. Okay, um, at the beginning, I show you something uh, in order that you can use it at the moment that you need to ask for help. Try to remember. Al inicio mencioné alguna frase de cómo pedir ayuda. Can you help me? Ah. Uh -huh. Y si fuese eso más polite o más cortés, podríamos cambiarlo al could. Could you give me a hand with this problem, please? I need information, but I remember that I delete the file. 
how can I recover it? Okay, let me see the time. Okay, I guess. Um, okay, let us continue then. You do need to practice. Okay, uh, take a look at this conversation. I don't know if you can see it very well. Just let me know if you can see it. Okay, who, who wants to read it? Or I can read it to you and later on you can talk about it. Okay, hey, say so I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. I'm going to read again. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. And let it be said, What's wrong with it? For some reason, it's just not connecting. How long have you been uh, having this problem? I, it hasn't been working the past few days. Does the internet come up uh, at all? It does, but it won't connect to anything. Well, the internet isn't down, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Will you send someone to fix it today? I'll send somebody over right away to fix this. When? Will they be there? They should be there in the next hour. Ok, ¿comprendemos esa conversación? Yes or no? Hello. A little teacher. Ok, tell me, tell me, tell me, ¿qué es lo que no comprendes? More or less, teacher. Ok, tell me, dime, ¿qué es lo que no entiendes? Hola, estoy esperando. The meaning, the meaning about uh, the word, uh, for example, fix. I don't know what it is in Spanish. Which one? Fix. Ah, fix. Reparar. Fix and reparar. Arreglar. This is the meaning of fix. What else? ¿Qué más? In Spanish, teacher. Excuse me? In Spanish? Es eso, reparar, arreglar. No, the conversation. Ah, quiere. Lo que entendemos. Ajá, lo que entendemos. No, no, no. no. Lo que no. quiero es que me digan algunas frases que no comprenden qué es lo que dicen ah. para que luego les quede claro todo ground teacher the other which one ground wrong the second guess what's wrong with that what's wrong with it esto es como decir que es lo malo que tiene wrong es algo negativo Right es positivo. Wrong. Let's run. What's wrong with you? ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Por qué andas así? Okay. ¿Cómo se traduciría over right? Away. Okay, let, let me see what it is. A letter B in the end. The, the last uh, 
over right away. I'll send somebody over right away. I'll send somebody over right away to fix it. Le enviaré a alguien. Le enviaré a alguien. Es, podría ser como que ahí para que lo repare. Aunque también esa frase podría significar que le va a enviar a alguien lo más pronto posible. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. Override. A way to fix this. Al final lo que le está diciendo es que el técnico va a llegar. Ok. Sé que hay más. Vamos, exprésenlas, dígalas. And teacher, y la frase que dice... It has been working the ah, past few days. Okay. Eso se llama tiempos perfectos. Todavía no hemos llegado hasta ahí. Porque eso aparece incluso en la pregunta. How long have you been having this problem? ¿Cuánto tiempo ha estado teniendo este problema? Dice ahí. Teacher. Sí, por eso. Is, sí, por eso is, I'm sorry. Y por eso la respuesta dice, it hasn't been working the past few days. No ha estado funcionando los últimos días. Ok. ¿Alguien me decía algo más? Uh, teacher, is like, like the song, the Koreans have you ever seen the rain? <laughs> Ahí está. Yes. Es ese el mismo tiempo. Porque ahí la pregunta dice, have you ever, have you ever seen? Ahí se usan tiempos participios, o sea, la tercera columna del verbo, por eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Ok. Ok, another question. Show, teacher. Show. Yes, in the last sentence. Ah, they should be there in the next hour. Ellos deberían estar ahí en las próximas horas. Ese should se usa para sugerencias. Okay, what else? Am I see here? Okay, let us practice. I need a volunteer who wants to do it. Okay, necesito dos voluntarios para hacer la conversación. Me teacher. Okay, Gabi and me teacher. Okay, do it. So. Can I start? You. Okay. I Ladies need first. Some... <laughs> I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. My internet. What's wrong with it? For some reason, it's just not connecting. How long have you been having this problem? It hasn't been working the, the past, uh, past few days. Does the internet come up at all? It doesn't, but it won't connect it to anything. Well, the internet isn't down, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Could you send some, could you send someone to, fi to fix it today? I'll send somebody over right away to fix it. When will they be here? They should be there in the next hour. 
Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. You're welcome. As you can see, uh, this is uh, a long conversation related with uh, with a problem, you know. For the reason we need to learn vocabulary related with these issues. Okay, alguien más desea hacer la conversación? No. No, nadie. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Why? Because it's uh, too long? Lola? Nadie más quiere hacer la conversación? I just uh, doing Jonathan. And we need somebody else. Ingrid, okay, Jonathan and Ingrid. Uh, Jonathan is going to be A and Ingrid is going to be letter B. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. What's wrong with, with it? For some reason, it's just, it's just not connecting. How have you been having this problem? It has been working the past few days. Does the internet come up at all? It's, it does, but it won't connect to anything. Well, the internet isn't done, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Could you send someone to fix it today? Send some somebody somebody over right away to fix it. When will they be heard? They shall be there in the next hour. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Don't forget that the moment that you are reading, uh, you need to emphasize that your brain. So if somebody starts saying line A, at the moment that you are going to ask a question, you need to keep in mind that in English, uh, we have rise and fall in intonation. For example, I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. What is the meaning of come over? Come over significa como que venga a mi casa. Eso es come over. And the question is, what's wrong with it? ¿Qué, ¿Qué le pasa? For some reason, it's just not connecting. How long have you been having this problem? ¿Cuánto tiempo ha tenido el problema? It hasn't been working the past few days. No ha funcionado. Okay, does the internet come up at all? It does, but it won't connect to anything. Well, the internet isn't down, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Could you send someone to fix it today? I'll send somebody over right away to fix it. When will they be here? They should be there in the next hour. As you can see. The member of the technical support try, uh, is trying to resolve the problem. 
Okay. Uh, well, you can keep this conversation in order that you can uh, make a review later on. Si gusta, puede hacer una captura. Voy a dejar de compartir. ¿Ya la hizo? Yes. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Uh, let me see what else we are going to see here. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay, right here we have another conversation related with the same problem. And I'm going to read it. Say, I need to get my internet fixed. What's the problem with your internet? It won't connect. How long has this been happening? This problem has been happening for a few days now. The internet doesn't come up at all. It just won't connect to a web page but it will pop up. There is obviously a problem with your connection. As you can see, uh, we need to use some uh, kind of technical word in order that we can uh, explain exactly what we need to be fixed. También les invito a que hagan una captura de esta conversación. Hay algunos términos eh, bastante técnicos dentro de la conversación. Ok, teacher. Quien okay. pueda, eh, se la envía al grupo, por favor. Ok, quien pueda la envía, es cierto. Teacher, ¿qué significa eso? Oops, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going back. Hold on a second. Ok, ok. Okay, which one? Um, uh, la frase dice, but it will put up. Ah, but it put up. But it, uh -huh. okay. See, this uh, it just won't connect a web, uh, to a web page. Uh, no conectará a una página web, pero aparece como que si tiene internet. But it will bien, put up. Eso es por up es aparecer. Es bien técnico eso, Ticho. Sí, es bien técnico, cabal. Eso es lo que les decía. Mm -hmm. Ok. Teacher, in the other word, in the last sentence, of be only. Which one? Obviously. Uh, obviously, there's obviously a problem with your connection. It's obvious okay, a problem with your connection. Obviously, obviously, obviously. See? Yes, it's true. Okay. And let us see the time. Well, uh, we need to move a little bit. Okay, 
activity number four, check, uh, well, we already talked about this one. Yes, we, we did. Okay, uh, right here, we need to focus our attention in this chart, ways to report a problem, and the common issues to report. Okay, uh, the first way is this. You can say, I would like to report a problem. Okay. And also uh, you can associate the next one. It does not seem to work. La forma de cómo reportarlo y, y, y mencionamos que, que sucede con eso. I would like to report a problem. It does, it does not seems to work. Parece que no funciona. Otra manera sería, I would like to report an issue. I would like to report an issue. Y luego lo asocia y dice, it makes a strange or funny noise. Hace un ruido extraño. Otro sería, I have a problem with. Yo tengo un problema con. For example, uh, if you are having problem with your car, you say, I have a problem with my car. Uh, it does not turn on, no enciende. It does not turn on. Okay. Uh, you are going to use one way to report a problem. Van a... Uh, a elegir uno de las maneras de cómo reportar un problema. Pero también van a usar un common issue to report it. ¿Cómo lo harían? Piensen, piensen, porque no tenemos ya mucho tiempo. I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue. I had trouble with. For example, um, if I make a phone call and I say, I have problem with my air condition. It does not turn on. What can I do? What can I do? Okay, the first thing that you need to do is just to check out the knot and uh, open it and be sure that you see some batteries in. Okay, lo primero que vamos a hacer es revise el control, ábralo, asegúrese de que tenga las dos baterías en su lugar. And when you open it, you say, ah, oh, my goodness, uh, I don't have any batteries here inside. Y cuando usted lo abre y dice, Dios mío, si aquí no hay baterías, el niño la sacó. ¿Cómo va a encender el aire? <risa> yeah, sometimes <risa> happen. Algunas veces sucede. Ok, but, I, but what I want is that you use these uh, ways to repair a problem. ¿Cómo lo haría usted? Eso es lo que quiero ver. Teacher. Hello, sir. I would like to report an issue because my my bolt um, door was closed. Was closed. Was closed. Uh, my puerta de bóveda. Okay. <laughs> y esas puertas son Ooh, really heavy. Very heavy. Okay. My goodness. Uh, you need to call to the technical support and they are going to tell you what you can do. And sometimes you need to press some keys in order to put uh, a password and that way you can open it again. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, somebody else? Me teacher. Okay, tell me. My teacher has a problem, a trouble with her microphone. Ah, with his microphone, okay. With his microphone. Okay. He should be uh, in front 
in front of her computer. His computer. His computer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, remember that uh, it, it is really important the way that you are going to report a problem. If you are calling to the uh, tech support and you say, I'm calling you because my teacher has a problem with it, uh, his microphone. It, uh, uh, it does not seem to work. What can he do? Okay, the first thing that they, uh, he needs to do is uh, to take a look at the, at the microphone and test it in, in the same computer and so on. Esa es la respuesta que podrían darnos, ¿no? Bueno, por ahí tenemos eh, varias formas. Bueno, let me stop here because the time is, we are so close to the time. Uh, and if you have time for tomorrow, you have five minutes. Try to resolve exercise number five. We are going to use it in a review. El ejercicio cinco de esa misma parte eh, habla de cuáles son sus eh, problemas comunes en el área de trabajo. Escríbalos. Y luego vemos qué es lo que tienen en común con los compañeros. Ok, let me see the time now. Hold on a second. Ok, but before we go uh, to check out the attendance, let me see right here. Vamos a ir revisando la asistencia de una vez. Eh, let me see here. Vamos a ver. America is there, yes? Present teacher. Okay, America is there, America. Uh, Ana Iris, Blanca, Esperanza. Present teacher. Ahí está, mire, yo estoy diciendo que no había venido y ahí está, eh, ya ven. <laughs> okay, uh, Cecilia. Present teacher. Ah, Ceci is there too. Uh, Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alfredo. Ah, Edwin. Present teacher. Edwin está de oyente. Ya, ya, ya lo tenemos aquí. Restra Francisco. Fran. 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 It's not here. Eh, Gabriela. Deja muchacha como que no estuvo hoy. Present teacher. Ah, ahí está. Ya regresó. Es que salió corriendo cuando el tema. A little time, teacher. A little time. Sí, y salió corriendo y se lo olvidó la hija y se regresa por ella. <risa> nada, nada, nada. Ok, uh, let us continue. Uh, let me see. Okay, got me here. Uh, Gisela. Gisela. Present teacher. Sí, ahí está. Y ustedes dicen que no está. Ingrid. Ingrid. Hello. Present. Ahí está, Dania Ingrid. Va, y ustedes diciendo que no ha no venido. Ahí está ella. Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Ernesto. Jose Luis. No. Karina. Present teacher. Ahí está Karina, sir. Sí, claro, ahí está Karina. Catherine, Marisela. Catherine, no apareció. 
Paola Jovel. Present teacher. Okay, Paola is there. Okay, hold on a second, please. Candy. It's Candy. Present teacher. Okay, Candy is there too. Uh, Mauricio Antonio. Present. Ahí está Mauricio también. Roxana Jesús Álvarez. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Sara. Present. Janet. Present teacher. Okay, is there two? Uh, Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. I got it. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta hasta acá. Referente a lo que vimos, no. Antes de que se me vayan, invitarles a quienes todavía no están eh, al día con las actividades en la plataforma, por favor, necesito que hagamos un poquito de tiempo y resolvamos esas actividades que nos van a ayudar mucho, por favor. Necesito eh, cuadrar eso. Eh, algo importante que mencionarles a los que estuvieron ya conmigo antes, saben, terminando el módulo y a mí me gusta entregar de una a las noches. Entonces, por favor, tratemos de no estar después de, de cerrar el módulo y todavía con actividades pendientes, por favor, sí. Ok. Ok, thank you very much. Be careful. Uh, tenga mucho cuidado. No sabemos lo que va a seguir. Así que deje listo todo lo que necesita por cualquier emergencia. We never know what can happen now, you know. No sabemos qué puede, pueda suceder. Ok, teacher. Ok, take care, bye. See you. Good night, teacher and partners. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night, good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night.